Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I have on here. Just a really simple, pretty, everyday makeup that is really easy to recreate. Also, you may notice I have a different backdrop. I'm changing where I film, so I'm just doing a little trial run. I don't have the stands that I have my soft boxes on. I left them at my family home, so I'm hoping to get those. That's why I don't have my usual backdrop, because my backdrop stands are what's holding up my soft box lights. So I thought a white backdrop is better than nothing. And yeah, this is just a trial run, so let me know if you like the lighting in this video and if you want me to keep filming in this spot, because I totally will. This means that I can really film at any time of the day because this is all using artificial lighting, not daylight, which a lot of my videos heavily rely on, but makes it a lot easier if I don't have to use artificial lighting because I could film at 10 o'clock at night or 11 in the morning and you wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough rambling. If you want to see a tutorial on this look, then just keep on watching. So first I start with my brows as usual. Usually I don't actually have soap brows, but for this video I just wanted to do them. So I'm going to start by underlining my brows with concealer. So I'm just going to carve out my brows and then we're going to get started on the eyes. Okay, so I have pricked my eyes using the P. Louise base in shade 2. And now I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. I'm going to take a couple shades from the Morphe 35XO palette. First I'm going to go on with this shade here called Hair Flip. And I'm just putting this really lightly in my crease. Next I'm going to take this shade here called Body Language and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to slowly build the colour up and make the crease deeper. I am also flicking this onto the outer corner as well. Next I'm going to take this shade here called Met Online and I'm just focusing this shade mainly in the outer edge of the eye. I'm just taking the leftover concealer that's on my sponge and just stamping that into the inner half of my eye. So that's just going to make the shimmer shades we put on the lid stick a bit better. Now I'm going to take this shade here called The Chase and I'm just stamping that over the inner half of my eye and then I'm going to blend that out using that previous brush. Next I'm going to take this shade here called Get The Digits. And then I'm just going to place that shade in the inner corner of my eye. And blend it out with my previous brush again just to make sure it's nice and seamless. I'm just taking a bit more body language and stamping that on the outer edge. Now I'm going to take this loose pigment called Gatsby. I'm just picking up a teeny tiny bit of the shade and just stamping it. Mostly in the inner half but all over we put that shimmer shade. And then I'm just going to lightly flick over it with the M573 brush. So that's all I'm going to do on the top part of the eye for now. I'm going to move on to my base. So I want the skin to look really airbrushed and flawless. So I'm going to conceal a few of my darker blemishes just so that they don't show up under the foundation. So I'm going to take my P. Louise Blank Canvas Paint and put a little bit of those over the dark blemishes I have. And that's going to help conceal them. I love this trick. It's very helpful. <laughs> It works really well because it's a thicker consistency, so it really helps to cover them and it sets. So it's not going anywhere. I'm just going to put it on the ones that are a bit more pigmented. I'm not really too bothered if they're blended well because we're going to cover it up anyway. And then I'm going to go on with my foundation. This is the Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay. I'm just going to do two small half pumps because I want the skin to look like skin still so I'm just going to be really careful with how much I put on the face. So we'll start with this much and then I'm just going to use my foundation brush to blend this in. This is quite a full coverage foundation so it should, should work quite well with less product. Okay now I'm going to do some concealer. I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape again and just conceal a couple spots on my face. And then I'm going to blend this in using my sponge. And now I'm going to powder. I'm going to take my Nikia Joy Cosmetics loose powder for this today. And I'm going to press this into the places that creased fastest on me. And then I'm just going to see everywhere else with a brush. Okay, now I'm going to bronze, so I'm going to take this NYX Pro Contour and Highlight Palette and I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades. 
I'm just using a light hand because I don't want too much sculpting on the face. I do want this to look quite natural. Okay, now I'm going to add some blush. I'm going to take this Sigma blush in the shade Hotspot. And I'm just going to apply this on the upper part of my cheekbone. To fill in my brows, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Browers in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm just going to use this to fill in any gaps. Now we're going to highlight. I'm actually going to take a shade from the eyeshadow palette I was using. I'm going to go on with this shade here called Across the Room. I'm just going to apply this to the high points of my face. And I'm also going to use this under my brow bone and in my inner corner. And for a tiny bit more spark, I'm going to take some of that Gatsby pigment and just put it in the very inner corner. Underneath the eye, I'm just going to take a little bit of that shade Body Language on that M573 brush. And now I'm going to put some mascara on, and this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I've done quite a thick coat because I'm actually only going to be putting on half lashes. So I want to make sure that they blend really well by having my natural lashes looking as full as possible. So I've just taken a pair of lashes that I've gotten from Wish and just cut them in half. And I'm going to apply those on the outer edge just to give the eyes a more lifted look. So I'm just going to curl my lashes gently to ensure that these are blended. So for lips, I'm going to take this Colourpop Velvet Luxe Lipstick in the shade Keep It Coy. And then on top, I'm going to apply this Kylie Cosmetics High Gloss in the shade Sweet. And that is the look complete. And here is a close-up of the eyes. Really soft, simple glam, but it still looks really pretty with those half lashes. Well, there you guys go. That is the tutorial on this look. I hope you liked it. Something a little bit different, but I actually really just wanted to do a chill video where I just film my everyday makeup. I've been obsessed with using half lashes lately, so I really wanted to do a look where I showcased those. So yeah, if you try this look out, send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out by sharing my channel with new potential viewers. And if you really liked this video, then hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Also, make sure you turn on the bell icon so that you never miss a video. If you want to see more looks and looks that I don't create here, check out my Instagram at MakeupWithAlex. All my social medias are linked down below. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.